Hey, what's up, all you delightful DJs? I'm the Ginger Giant, and welcome to another installment of Safe and Stony, where we're just trying to have a good time and spread some good vibes. So if you like what we're doing here, you already know what to do down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. What we got rolled up today is some of King Palm's new Natural Sweets tobacco wraps. We're going to see if these are stony or baloney. Now, if you're new here, the way we like to judge our smokables are in five different stats. How it looks, how it smells, how it tastes, how harsh it is on the throat, and lastly, the buzz. How are we feeling at the end of it? So, let's go ahead and check this out real quick. I have packed it up, but let's go ahead and give you my thoughts. It was a cone, so I really just had to stuff it. But there is a rather large stem just kind of in the middle of it, and I'm not sure how that's going to burn. But let's go ahead and give it a smell before we critique it any further. I'm, I am smelling the bud through this, but it's got a nice sweet, almost a little salty, sort of like a chocolatey smell coming off of it. Not a bad smell by any means. It smells like a decent natural tobacco leaf. So let's go ahead and spark it up and see how it tastes. I got some of only gas, some of the only gas Nimbus Kush loaded up in here. And I'll have a video on that coming out in a few days. Well, let's, let's stick to this real quick. Not harsh whatsoever, really. Doesn't impact too much flavor, but on the XL, you can tell it's there. It's got its own little presence. Just a little sweet. Almost a little chocolatey, like I said before, but not harsh. Pretty enjoyable, especially if you're a fan of blunts. Now, I'm rather used to King Palm being a bit more slow burning, but this this seems to be burning up rather quick. Now it is their like unreleased wraps, so they probably are a little bit more dry, but overall so far, pretty enjoyable, pretty enjoyable. I'm not sure if, if you can see on the camera there, but that stem I pointed out, it's kind of just burning upwards and starting to curl. So we'll see how well this holds together the further we smoke into it. It's actually starting to cause a run, if you can tell the difference right there. So let's try to fix that real quick. The further down you get into the blend, it does start to impact a bit more flavor, but I feel like that's the same with pretty much anything you roll up. Once it gets resonated, you taste it a bit more. But still, not too harsh, not too harsh. It is starting to become a bit more bitter. Oh. 
Sorry about that. Camera died on me. But let's get back into it. I guess we'll see how it is on the relight. <laughs> Honestly, doesn't taste too bad. Pro probably only been about five minutes, but either way, still doesn't taste too bad. If, you're for, if you are a fan of blunts, I would definitely suggest at least giving them a shot. They're fairly cheap. You can find them at kingpom.com, or you can check them out at kingpom on Instagram. Either way, it's your choice to do that. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, y'all already know what to do down below. Until next time, guys, y'all stay safe and stay stony. Peace.